Hello and welcome. Nice to see you again. Um, Ammo here brought up an excellent point uh, that I haven't covered yet, and that is how to adapt the parent size um, of the metahuman. So, so metahumans are obviously in different proportions, and so when we retarget them, they sometimes turn out strange. We have got here as well Marius Myberg, who's asking the same thing. So that is what I'm going to tackle today. I'm going to be showing you how to use IK adjustments for the full body IK to adjust the pose so we get improved animation retargeting. So let's go and do that now. Okay, so in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to use your metahuman in a third person template. And we had this guy here. Inside the blueprint for the third person character that we worked on in the previous tutorial, uh, this is what we had. And what I did is I told you to set retarget mode enabled here. Now, this was to get it done quickly. And so what I may have missed is first for mesh, make sure the anim class is set to many and the skeletal mesh is also set to many. Then, um, for the animation retargeting part, if we come to here to functions, if it's not there, it may need expanding. Double click on retarget setup, you will be taken here and to this here. If we go right to the end to set retargeting mode and class, you will notice this node here, set anim instance class. And by default, because it came with a metahuman, this blueprint, it is set to RTG metahuman. What I want you to do is open that up and here it is. And if we open up that animation blueprint, by default, it's IK retargeter set in the retarget post from mesh is RTG metahuman. Now, that is fine if you just want to get it done quickly, but we want to get this done correctly. So what I'm going to do here is choose RTG mannequin. And then I'm going to go to that folder and duplicate. And for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll call this version two, like so. And then I'm going to set version two here, compile and save. What I'm going to do now is open up that IK retargeter. And this is what we're presented with. This is what comes with Manny, basically. And what we want to do here is set our MetaHuman IK rig. There we go. And I'm going to set this to, say, F, female, medium, normal weight preview. Okay. Like so. And as you can see, here is the problem. The arms in this current pose are too far apart. And when we play an animation, that is going to create problems and it's going to look strange. So what we can do is very simple. Click on left arm. We'll start with the left arm. And in the details panel, come to IK adjustments and blend to source is set to one at the moment. What we can do is adjust blend to source like so until you get the desired result that you want. You can fine tune this. So for example, blend to source set to one to show you the extremes and you can adjust Z, Y and X to get the fine tuning you need for your pose within the full body IK. I don't know if I worded that correctly, just bear with me. For the purpose of this, I'm simply going to choose blend to source and I'm going to set to around 0.112 for the left arm. Then I'm going to find the right arm and I'm going to adjust blend to source and 0.112 for that. And I'm pretty happy with that pose. You can, of course, do this for uh, legs. So let me find a leg. For example, the right leg, you, you can do the same and you can make adjustments there like so. But we don't need to do that at the moment. And then so now if we play an animation, as we can see, 
if you look at this hand here, I mean, it's pretty much happening with both hands, but it's kind of going through the mesh. So let's try and fix that. I, I would probably do it with a static offset, but let's try here. Oops, I'm doing the wrong arm here. I want to do the right arm first. There we go. And... I think in this case, I'm going to come to static offset and I'm going to just pull it away from the body like so. Uh, probably minus five. Yeah, minus five. And then I instantly want to go over to my left arm here. And I want to do the same. I, but this time, maybe... Hmm, that could be too much. Around there, around 2.5. Let me just jump back to my right arm. And. Yeah. Minus 3.5. And I think. I'm happy with that. We can change the these static offsets as well and so it's all about fine-tuning and whatever it is you're trying to achieve you you would do that here I'm going to slightly like so so uh, yeah I'm happy with that and then left arm and just adjust this one slightly probably pull that in as well to 1.5 and so hit play and let's have a look i mean it's not a perfect match is it but hopefully you understand what it is i am trying to achieve let's try with another animation There we go. And finally, let's just change our MetaHuman to another one. Uh, just to show you this, let me find something a little more extreme. Yep, yeah, that'll do. And I'm going to leave the settings as they are and do walk forward again. And just scroll through. Like so. So you get the general impression that's what you would do. If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. More tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below with any questions. I will see you in the next one.